It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Jets and the Panthers, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. A short time ago, a scene that never fails to stir up the folks here in Charlotte. Cam Newton strutting his way onto the field. His guys are fired up as they get set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the New York Jets. Again, everyone, Brandon Gordon, so happy to be with you to kick off this much anticipated 2021 season. With me in the booth as we begin our sixth season together is, of course, Charles Davis and CD. So much to watch for coming up. What are you keeping an eye on? Well, Brandon, I'm ecstatic to be back with you, of course, and we've got a good one right here out of the gates. I'm interested in seeing some of the changes in 2021. Running backs and wideouts, even linebackers wearing single digit numbers. But even more than that, I want to see the changes defenses have made because last year we averaged 49.6 points per game. That's the highest ever by three full points. Can these defenses make an adjustment and start to catch up? Yeah, passer rating CD, an all time high. Completion percentage also an all time high. So, as you said, will those numbers continue to climb northward or will the defenses adjust? And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Jets about set to go on offense, led by their rookie quarterback for 2021, the second overall pick, Zach Wilson out of BYU. During the draft process, it was pretty clear early that Jacksonville was locked in on Trevor Lawrence, the quarterback at Clemson. That allowed the Jets to really peruse the rest of the quarterback crop. And they settled in on Zach Wilson from BYU. Loved his game, ability to throw from the pocket, the off-platform throws, getting outside of the pocket and making plays. He's their guy, and they expect him to be that guy for at least the next 10 years. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. An early test, two plays in. This is third and two. They'll run with Carter. Fights loose, and he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense, in this case, fighting through, he's got space. The Jets are on the board here first in the season opener. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered. He just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact of the next-gen stats. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here now are the Panthers for their first drive of the game. They'll be led out by the 2015 NFL Most Valuable Player in his 11th season in the league, 32-year-old Cam Newton. And many people are having difficulty pegging exactly what they believe Cam Newton is at this point in his career. For me, when I see certain days and he's right, he can still be an accurate passer, can still get the ball downfield. And his running ability, especially inside the 10, still makes him a difficult quarterback to prepare for. Newton, meanwhile, here connecting with McCaffrey. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Newton. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. Seven yards to pick up there. From the 40 now on 
second down. Newton, again, he finds Moore. And he'll be taken down before he gets into enemy territory. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49. Again is Newton. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. To throw once more on second and ten. Newton gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 33. Brother Mark Dunton and Durham. Sixteen catches, which was an all-time record for NFL running backs. Trying to come back from an injury-filled 2020. Just 17 catches on the year. Sure is great to see him back on the field doing this thing. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And sometimes all your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. Flushed out. Now he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Cam Newton, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The rookie Zach Wilson and the Jet offense set to go to work once more. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Play action. Now Wilson. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down the play fake. Here's Wilson. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. They go play action now. Wilson. This one caught by Davis. And they move this all the way down to the nine. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Dancing to his left, and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Zach Wilson making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Jets have taken the lead. That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career. But he's got youth on his side. Those young legs, he put them to good use there, didn't he? Extra points safely through. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal ring. Through an opening, and there he goes. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, 75 yards. And the Panthers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Gonzalez able to take on the PAT. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. And any time a receiver's over 100 yards like he is, maybe the D coordinator scratching his head a little bit. If you're the D coordinator, what are you doing? 
whatever he's not doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the best way to put it, but you have to treat him like the hot shooter in basketball, the guy that's just not missing. You run enough people at him to make him give up the ball in basketball. In this case, you've got to cover him with enough people that they throw the ball to someone else and make them beat you. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Play action. It's Wilson. Over the middle complete. That's Davis. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. They go play action with Wilson. Right back to Davis. It's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. On first and ten, it's Carter. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will do it for this. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? But paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing on third down, Newton. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Another catch for him on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That's going to be a jet sweep. Newton bats it forward. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Newton throwing again. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. Now here's a timeout defensively, defensive timeout called by the Jets. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. easy to see. I notice that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Woo! 
Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there are certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never give him a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. Wow, that's a really big game. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. Big yardage that time for the Jets. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. A turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Throwing again here, Wilson. And that is incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. And we're back now in Charlotte. Second down at four. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Here's Newton. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. on just two plays have taken the lead. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez home to kick it away. From the six. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. There he goes, left side. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Jets. They had just lost the lead. That deficit sure didn't take long to erase. They return the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown. Love the thunderbolt that just came out of that one that puts him in the end zone and back in the lead. Your only question, your defense just gave up a score that put you behind. Well, that score you just added on the board, will it energize them? Or do they have to go back out there and they're a tired unit? We'll soon see. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So now Newton and the Panthers down 24-21, 2-13 remaining. This is only week one of the season, folks. Get strapped in as they come up here first and 10. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. John Franklin Myers credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. 
And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Newton. And incomplete on the deep ball. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. And he is going to be stopped Good cold job, behind the That's line right. of scrimmage. Here's Wilson. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. A big one coming for kicker Eddie Pinheiro. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well. Because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Pass complete, Thomas. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. Newton rolling to his left. Cam wisely hitting the deck at the end as he slides and has the first as well. Let's go. Let's now go. the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Throwing is Newton. He's going to let it fly. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Trying to get the ball to his tight end in the center of the field where he runs a lot of his routes and ostensibly is extremely comfortable. He was hoping he'd find a seam and a big gainer to go along with it, but that one was incomplete. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and it is incomplete. They had a defender running right with him, and now it's third down. One last throw here for Newton. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Jets, it's a victory in the debuts of Zach Wilson and Robert Sala, two guys whose fortunes will be intertwined in the years to come. And they'll return home next week to take on the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Carolina, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints.